Right, I have not been to this park in at least six months, probably more than that. And I just found this on the ground. I mean, it's fake, but that's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. Alright, also, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but the uh, there's no longer a big old scuff up in this part of the screen up here. So, I finally got my new GoPro in. It's not as easy to navigate through here anymore, because apparently, I, I guess they added dirt to it, and they flattened it out. They did a lot of work in here. And they made the banks steeper and harder to get down to the water. And it's real soft dirt, it's hard to walk on. Nice big open clear area here. Might have to park here the next time. Right down here, oh, they moved the tree. This tree fell, but there had been another tree going across the last time I was here, and it was just completely blocking everything. They pulled it out now. Let's see. Had something swimming along with me. That was weird. But Oh, there's a good sized bass. There we go. Got him. You got a smaller one than what I see over there. I see a bigger one. It's fighting pretty hard. Ooh, uh, not bad at all. There we go. Funny shit, it's fat getting ready for winter. Fattening up. And I can see another one that's even bigger than this one out there. Short and fat. Let's see if I can find my scale. Pound and a half. Which, uh, that's, I thought it would be a little bit bigger than that, but it's alright. It's not very long. Oh, I see two more right there. There's one that's, if that one was a pound and a half, the one I'm looking at is two pounds, maybe a little more. Spooked it. There's another one over there. Oh, he, he went at it, but he didn't get the hook. Fish in the last video, and then I had another one bite immediately after it took the hook, took the tail right off. Wacky rig it, see. Hate to waste these. Oh, I see one, I see one, I see one. Got it, got it, got it, got it. It's a smaller one, but I watched him come up and grab it. Set the hook. Chill, dude. They're feisty over here. Oh, man. There we go. This might be my first wacky rig bass, too. <laughs> So I've seen at least five right in this area that were the size of the last one or bigger. I think the last one I just caught was the smallest one. I 
I've got two of them. Oh, there's a bite. Okay, okay. This is the, feels like the biggest one so far. Mm, maybe not the biggest one, but it's up there with that first one. Hell, it might be the first one again. These, they're they're fat in here. Okay. Ugh. All right. I really want to get a couple more casts out, but three out of five is not bad. Should have got a weight on that last one, but it's all right. I'm gonna. I gotta go meet up with somebody. Might do some more fishing over there. But for the time being, I gotta get going before it gets too late. <clears throat> All right, well there, uh, that was kind of unusual for, for a genuine Gary Yamamoto. Cause they're usually so, they work so well because of how flexible they are and the material they're made out of. But they have no durability. They wear out really fast. So right there, I, I really had four fish on that one swim Senko. Uh, one of them, he grabbed the tail and bit the tail off. So I swept, I switched around and I, I wacky rigged the swim Senko and then got two more on it. So I got one, the traditional Texas rig, and then one that bit the tail off. And then I got two on the wacky rig swim Senko. So, it's not common that you get four solid bites like that on one swim Sanko before they, they tear off or something. Uh, right now, I've, maybe I've got a little bit of time left to daylight. I'm going to try to get, get somewhere and shoot another video. But for now, that's it on this one. Thanks for watching.